Hey guys, Shane Stars with DroidModerX.com. As you guys probably know by now, at Google I.O., they did release a preview version of the latest and greatest version of Android, Android L. Now, this is a preview version, so I would not recommend going and flashing the stock image. You can always go in and flash the stock image via ADB. It does wipe your system completely, and you are on that build. So that means everything in your ROM currently that you're running, your apps, your app data, you'll lose all of that and at the expense of running a ROM that is not complete. So there are still some bugs in Android L. What I would recommend instead of doing that is going the multi-ROM method. Now this should work on Nexus 5 and Nexus 7 2013. I will include the links in the description for the multi-ROM thread. Uh, the, once you click on the link, you'll be directed to this thread. You'll want to scroll down and grab multi-ROM. Uh, where it says downloads, you'll go to the multi-ROM download. It'll bring you to the Play Store link and you'll download multi-ROM. So once you open up the application, you'll need to install the recovery and the kernel. It will do its thing. It takes about five minutes to install. It'll reboot into recovery, so you'll need to already be running Team Wind Recovery Project and have an unlocked bootloader. It will flash the kernel and new multi-ROM recovery and then it'll reboot the device. So once you have all that set up, You'll head to the link in the description. Uh, I'll have it labeled Android L Preview Build, and you'll download that. It'll come up as LP version 7.9. And once that's downloaded, we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery. So we'll just open up Multi-ROM, go to Reboot, and select Recovery. That'll boot us into the Multi-ROM Recovery. Okay, so once the Multi-ROM twerp is enabled, we'll go to Backup. You'll back up your system and give that several minutes. Now this will back up your apps and your app data, text messaging, emails, uh, anything that's important to you, it'll back everything up. Uh, this is my daughter's Nexus 7 and she's got like 30 games on here that she plays all the time. And I don't wanna lose any of her progress on any of those games. So I'll be sure to make a complete Android backup. This will take several minutes. We'll go ahead and pause the video here and as soon as it's finished, we'll come back. Okay, when the backup's finished, you'll see the successful screen, we'll go back. And back again then we will uh, just check to make sure that we do have a backup there and we do we'll wipe data cache and dalvik cache okay once that wipes complete we will go back and install our zip we're looking for the lpv79 underscore flow dot zip and we will flash to confirm now give us a few minutes to flash we're not worried about flashing a gs because that is included in this build okay so when that is finished we should be able to reboot system and it should boot us into Android L preview. So one thing about this new Android L preview build, on first boot, it will take a long time to boot. So just give it several minutes to boot. Uh, it could take up to 30 minutes on initial boot. So you see there is the new Nexus boot animation for Android L preview build. When you see that boot animation, you know that the flashing has worked properly. I wasn't able to flash it on standard Team Wind Recovery Project or Clockwork Mod Recovery Project. I did have to indeed install that multi-ROM version of Team Wind Recovery Project in order for their build to work, but as you guys can see, it does work. I'm not going to make you guys sit here and look at this boot animation for 30 minutes while it boots up. Uh, but anyways, guys, that has been the quick and easy install guide for Android L preview build on the Nexus 7 2013. I'll be sure to include the multi-ROM uh, build for Nexus 5 in the link in the description so that way you can do it with either device. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.